Hi guys, here I am again with another episode and this is episode 2 of Lady in Waiting series. So this topic we are going to speak about losing weight and I'm not talking about the weight in your body, I'm talking about the weight that you may carry on your shoulders, the weight that you might carry in your mind, the weight that you might carry in your heart, the weight that you might carry in your soul. Let me turn this down. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this series. Um, so let's talk about the weight now um after i don't know if i said in the previous last video but um during my pregnancy with my last son my children's father um decided to disappear um and i had already kind of like had in my mind that this was something i knew that i was going to do on my own because our relationship was not um stable anyway and as I said I had backslid and you know just for one night of passion and ended up having my son um or conceiving my son um during that time um I was upset um and I didn't understand why he was unable to communicate um what his plans were or what he was going to do but the Lord is my strength and as I said to you previously in the last video you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you and this is a time that me and the Lord's relationship really really became um really really close I had to allow God to heal me in this time I had to give him everything I had to cry I had to sob I had time to um scream even though screaming weren't gonna make it any better but I had that time to heal and just to allow God to take control. That time, I just praise God for his plan because I am not the foreseer of my future. He knows all things. He has written my story. He knows why he had to be removed from my life. And I had to celebrate. I had to learn to celebrate that and not be bitter about it. I had to learn to embrace the new, um, which was just being on my own and just dealing with the children um and for me it was a time where you know as I said I drew closer to God I was really into my word to be honest it was the best pregnancy I have had in terms of my strength um you know I had a few like medical stuff but just in general I just felt good within me um because like when I had my fourth child I was smoking throughout my pregnancy I was stressed I was crying I had lost so much weight she was so small etc because I was so just torn like really I was just wrecked like seriously I was so broken um so with my fifth pregnancy even though it was something that I didn't want to do God used it and strengthened me in that time um so in that process when i speak about losing weight um i'm speaking about allowing god to be god in your season in every season but just allowing him to carry the weight he carried me and my five children he carried me and the things that i was going through emotionally he carried me through the acceptance of allowing my story to unfold and he carried me through through forgiveness um and some of you like, are probably just sitting there like forgive <laughs> me <laughs> no that like let's right rewind and come again yeah forgiveness i had to come to a place where i was just like Do you know what I forgive you for what you've done. I forgive you for leaving me and the children. I forgive you for the decisions that you have made. And in if that in itself lifted such a weight off my shoulders, who am I that I should be carrying his forgiveness in the palm of my hand? I'm not God. Why should I be holding on while he's getting on with life why should I be holding unforgiveness in my hand when I can let it go and just be free and literally how you see that hand movement is exactly what happened in my life I just became free um I want to share a scripture with you from um Matthew 
6 14 to 15 and it says for if you forgive men that trespass forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you if you do not forgive your trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses so the long and short of it is forgive others so you can be forgiven we're not perfect you're not perfect i'm not perfect so who am i that i should be holding as i said someone else's unforgiveness in my hand when i've got a lot of things to be forgiven for too it doesn't make any sense so I just wanted to come on here and say in this process of you being a lady in waiting, you must lose the weight. Lose the weight from your mind, lose the weight from your soul, lose the weight from your heart. Let it go. And I feel like once you let that go, you're able to progress in your walk with Christ. You're able to be free. You're able, things are able, can come your way and you're just like, mm, okay, same old kind of thing. We've done this already, like kind of thing. Bye. Literally. Because you are so free. Um, and think about this as well. Imagine your husband was to appear to you, which I don't believe he would if you have this whole weight that you are carrying and you're you're bringing the past relationship into your new relationship and you're like you see this guy here you know what he done to me yeah and da -da -da -da, and blah 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 and he done this and, -da -da -da, and literally that's how you're gonna sound and you're bringing that negativity into this new space where God is wanting to bless you with somebody new, but because you're so hung up on the past and you're carrying so much weight, you're gonna bring that weight onto that relationship. And sooner or later, this man's gonna be like, bye Trina, literally. He's just gonna be like, he doesn't, th this is just too much. So ladies, lose the weight. Lose the weight, lose it, let it go. It is well. And believe me, greater things are yet to come your latter will be greater just lose the weight i'm looking forward to speaking to you on episode three so for now take care and god bless bye oh and another thing take this moment to praise god for his plan praise god for him allowing this man not to be in your life praise god for God to use you and strengthen you in this time. Praise God for the hurt that you are going through. Yes, it sounds hard. And I was at this event yesterday and this lady was saying that this that God had came to her and said, thank me for what had happened to her. Thank God. If somebody has left you, thank God. He, th God is only making room for somebody new thank god for your story thank god for the people that have left your life thank him thank him because in all of this you are going to see why these people had to come out of your life it is not for you to be there like okay mm -mm, okay that's why no just thank god I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you have removed this person from my life. I thank you that you are making me into the person that you want me to be. I thank you for the strength that you have given me within this time. Stay thankful in all things. Keep praising him in all things. Okay, I'm really going now. Bye. <laughs> that I want to record. Come and record with me. Hi, guys. <laughs> Come around. You're so scary. <laughs> Mommy, please. Your eyebrows are not leaking. You need to brush the concealer in a bit more. Because I can see it. Jaden.